Every so often, something creepy will come along that'll grip everyone's attention, even if just for a second. This, of course, is made infinitely more possible given the reach of the internet, and while in the past, moral panic and urban legends may have found themselves bound by borders, these days they're free to spread across the globe at an alarmingly fast rate if all the pieces fall into place. In the almost five years that I've been making videos and investigating the darker pockets of the internet, there have been several instances where some kind of cursed media pops up and spreads just about everywhere, whether it be a game, picture, video, whatever. There was a time when this used to frustrate me. It used to get under my skin knowing that people would fall for these things over and over again. And while these days I've kind of learned to just accept it, especially since a lot of the traffic tends to be ironic, it's always amusing to see literally the same story packaged in a slightly different way work each time. To be more specific, I'm talking about the type of media that basically has the same effect as the cursed videotape from The Ring. You see this picture, video, whatever, and something bad happens to you. Someone comes for you, you drop like a fly, or basically the happening or bird box happens. I know you guys understand what that's code for, and I really don't want this video removed, so pardon the vagueness. Whenever these things spread, I'm often asked why people fall for it these days. But here's the thing. It's really nothing new. It's not that humankind has gotten any dumber. Nope, we've always been this way. And while I won't bore you with the entire history of our species, I will be asking you to come along with me to a time long since past. A distant forgotten time known as the mid-2000s when YouTube was still a mere infant and the World Wide Web was either way better or worse depending on your point of view. Today we discuss the story of the scariest picture on the internet. But first, a word from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You've probably already seen this app on basically every other YouTube channel, but in case you haven't, Raid is a turn-based RPG that actually doesn't suck and is done right. Download Raid absolutely free now using the link in the description to enjoy over a million champion builds, 13 spectacular locations, a fully voiced story campaign, and my favorite feature, multi-battle auto mode because no one has time to sit around and grind it out. But in case you're a complete masochist and this doesn't interest you at all, then you may also enjoy Raid's weekly tournaments and events, and on top of that, the game is ever growing with huge updates to come over the next six months. They've even published a roadmap, new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss you can fight with your clan mates. Speaking of which, look me up with username Rainbot, and if you're quick enough, you may be able to join my clan. Again, download Raid today for absolutely free using the link down below, and if you do, you'll receive 50k silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video and like every other YouTuber, and with that said, on to the show. Okay, so first off, this is obviously the picture in question, and you're probably in one of these two camps right now. Either you know exactly what this is and clicked on this video for the sake of nostalgia or learning more about it, or you have no idea what this is, which means that you either live under a rock or are probably too young to have your own YouTube account. In that case, allow me to explain. In most iterations, this image is presented alongside text that provide a setup, a tragic backstory of a teenage girl in Japan who supposedly both painted the piece and posted it to the internet shortly before passing away. The text continues, explaining that the freaky bit about this is that people reported having difficulty staring at the picture for extended amounts of time, specifically anything over five minutes. Again, just like the ones mentioned earlier, this legend comes with a bit of a warning, claiming that some who have tried to stare at this for longer than the stated five minutes have met an unfortunate demise after being driven to insanity. The effect is said to be similar to that of another urban legend, the supposedly cursed song Gloomy Sunday. The videos then generally allow you to stare on for five minutes, and many who have tried this report seeing a slight change in the girl, either a slight smirk or maybe even a shift in her gaze. Now, you may expect the changes in the girl's expression to be due to editing or trickery, but that's not necessarily the case. I'm gonna put a completely static version of the girl on screen with no extra editing, and I want you to look at her for a second, and make sure to not break your focus. I won't be doing the full five minutes though, so if you like, just pause the video and set a timer.
And now you're cursed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Okay, not really. This picture is synonymous with internet urban legends, a true old school creepypasta that found itself in front of just about anyone who was using the internet during that era, mostly through YouTube. Some versions even sporting the name the scariest picture on the internet. Classic and effective clickbait. The iteration you're seeing here is one of the most prominent, if not the biggest one. Simply titled Sonny or Sunny, it boasts more than 8 million total views. Other versions have had similar reach, resulting in several million views across all versions. This one, though, seems to predate the rest as far as YouTube goes, given that it was posted in the summer of 2006. Keep in mind, this was when YouTube was just a little over a year old. So while I can't be sure that there isn't some older deleted video out there that this is just a mirror of, I'm pretty certain that this video is what's responsible for this image being given the name Sonny. Admittedly, back in 2007 or 8, which is when I originally stumbled upon this urban legend, I wondered what the name Sunny meant, or if it was even a name at all, or something else entirely. Google Trends will tell you that the word Sunny was most searched from 2004 to 2009 in the United States, with related words revolving around the Sony Corporation, a song of a similar name by Ramstein, and Japan. Googling Sunny and name won't get you much, but some sites like to claim that it's a male name derived from the more common Sunny. Searching Sunny on its own pretty much only points you in the direction of the painting. Now, in most cases like this, I prefer to just reach out to the source, but right now that doesn't seem entirely possible. The channel that uploaded the 8 million plus viewed video also goes by the same name and bears the iconic image as their profile picture. The problem, though, is that the page is pretty much empty with just one upload and no links to social media or any identifying information at all to help us bridge the gap. But this is, of course, where the archives come in handy. A 2009 version of this person's channel had been saved, and keep in mind, this is just under three years after the video's initial release, and it had already garnered over 4 million views, which was crazy viral at the time. Already, we're given a bit more info on the uploader, who seems to be an 18-year-old living in the United States, at least at the time. If you scroll down, you can admire the entirety of this ancient YouTube interface and look back on the good old days of no monetization at all and literally everyone doing the forced positivity thing and either comedy skits or song parodies. Although the content and format of YouTube may have changed, the comments have not. We still have people asking for their time back, as if it's the uploader's fault they were dumb enough to do this. Anyway, the page links to a private MySpace account, one belonging to a Nevada teenager named Andrew, who apparently was all for Ron Paul back in 2008. And with that, we hit our dead end. Now, there have been rumors floating around that this urban legend actually found its origins on message boards rather than YouTube, which could explain the uptick in searches before 2006. I haven't been able to find any verification on this, and there likely isn't a way to do so, but the copy and pasted accounts tell us that the picture, along with the basic urban legend, was first posted to Korean forums and spread from there. Most mentioned that the forums pointed out the girl's large blue eyes, which they claimed to have a hypnotic effect when stared at for too long. It's assumed that from here, the image and urban legend spread to other parts of Asia and eventually made it over to the United States, where the story mutated to involve an Asian teenager as the center for the made-up backstory even though the painting is clearly not of an Asian girl, but never mind. My guess here is that the name Sonny or Sonny was supposed to sound Japanese, or at least what an American teenage troll thought sounded Japanese. I, I don't know. I'm sure you guys will tweet me about it because someone's got to know about this. But anyway, what about the image itself? Where exactly did it come from if it wasn't posted by the girl in the story? Well, this one is fairly easy to look up if you type the right things into Google or spend enough time scrolling through comments. If you Google Sonny, you're going to come across another version of the picture with some extra ornamental elements that are small, sure, but do change the vibe of the piece quite a bit. Keep on track and you'll find the image was actually made by artist Robert Chang, and he even has the picture cataloged in his online portfolio. In it, Robert explains that the character's name is Princess Rue, the main character of his sci-fi fantasy screenplay, Terulian Sky. He also says that the actual name of the piece itself is melancholic princess, this due to the fact that Rue is set to soon reluctantly take the throne. The explanation behind the posing is that this was supposed to be Rue's last casual portrait as princess. And yes, Robert does also quickly address the urban legend, basically calling it silly and wondering why anyone would ever fall for such a thing. Unfortunately, Robert doesn't know the exact origin of the story, and like I said, it's probably not going to be possible to find out, so for now, all we can do is assume. 
What we do know, however, is that this picture is obviously not cursed, nor is it involved with any actual tragedy. This not counting the fact that this artwork's actual backstory and purpose is usually never talked about. Still, there is something to be said for what Princess Rue found herself becoming once online, because it's not every day you're crowned the scariest picture on the internet. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters, specifically these people. Joel, Matt, Mark, Stefan, Justin, Julian, Avocadros, Shelby, Spooky Q, VHS Squid, Garth, Jay, Shadow, Danielle, and Ursula. You guys are the absolute best, and I'll see you all again soon.